Welcome to this new tutorial on using the operating system macOS 10. In this session I would like to talk about keyboard shortcuts and other tricks of macOS 10. As you can imagine there are many differences between the range of commands that can be sent through the keyboard in a Mac compared to what happens in a Windows PC. One of the features that are immediately noticed by a new Macintosh user who observes an experienced one is that the latter uses very frequently and much more willingly the keyboard. Therefore, sending commands to the system through key combinations is much more frequent in a Macintosh user compared to a Windows one. I had almost never used the keyboard until I switched to the Mac myself, not even to do the classic copy and paste procedures. But just after switching to the Mac, to tell you the truth, I quickly realized that using key combination can help you and save you a lot of time. Enough talking, let's see some of these keyboard shortcuts. I mentioned the famous copy and paste procedure. Similar to what happens in Windows, to activate the function copy we have to press the buttons Command and C. The key command is this one here, both to the left and to the right of the spacebar. And it is likely the most used for keyboard shortcuts. The key command, especially in older Apple keyboards, could have the Apple logo. Originally, in fact, this was the Apple key. But the Apple key and the command one are, in fact, the very same thing. I just say that to activate the copy functions we have to press command and C. For the paste function we have to press command and V. For example, if I wanted to copy this file here I should first of all select it and then I have to press command plus C. Then I should press command plus V and as you can see a copy of the file has been created directly on the desktop. To delete a file that is no longer needed rather than drag the file itself into the trash as you would normally do, you can press common plus delete in this way. Common plus delete. So I have to select the files and then press common plus delete. As you can see the files have been moved into the trash. If we would like to empty the trash by using the keyboard instead of clicking with the right mouse button on the trash itself and selecting the empty trash option, we should press command plus shift plus delete in this way. Command plus shift plus delete. If I do that command plus shift plus delete. The system asks for a confirmation as you can see then you must click on empty trash and the trash is emptied. Another very interesting command is command plus A. This one. Command plus A. With this keyboard shortcut you can display all the informations of a certain file or a certain folder. For example, if I would like to see the information of this file here, I have first of all to select the file and then press command plus A. Now you will have this window showing you all the data, the size of the file, when it was created, its size, when it was edited, 
a preview of the file if it's an image, and so on. You can of course do the same for every device, including USB devices and hard drive connected to your computer. For example, my external hard drive could be like this. Ok. If we want to open a new Windows of the Finder, instead of clicking on the icon of the Finder itself within the dock, we could press Command plus Alt plus N in this way. Command plus Alt or Option plus N. And we will have a new Finder Windows in this way. This operation can be repeated as many times as we want to, so if we would like for example to open 4 or 5 new windows of the finder at the same time, we should just repeat this combination of keys as many times as we need to, in this way. At this point, it may be that with all these windows opened, the desktop is too messed up. We may therefore minimize all these windows of the finder to show the desktop. Using the combination command plus alt plus m, you see that all the windows are minimized at the same time and sent to the dock. So the, the keys to press are command plus option or alt and M. If I try to do that, command plus alt plus M, you see that all the windows has been minimized and sent to the dock. And now the desktop is definitely tidy and clean. But let's reopen them for a moment. OK. If for any reason we want to close them all, we won't need to close them one by one. We will just have to press Command plus Alt plus W in this way. Command plus Option or Alt plus W. Using these keys, you can see that Command, Alt and W Behold, everything is closed showing the desktop once again. Another interesting thing that could be useful for many users is how to get a screenshot. This could be useful for many reasons, I don't have to explain them all. I myself use it very often. To get a snapshot of the entire screen of the Mac, we have to press Command plus Shift plus the number 3. This way, command plus shift plus number three. Comma shift three. By doing so, as you can see, the screenshot is automatically placed on your desktop. If you open it, you can see that it's a screenshot of your entire desktop. But what do I have to do if I don't want an image of the entire screen, but only of a particular portion of it, and I don't want to waste time to edit the image uh, with iPhoto or any other software? It's very simple. I can use a different combination of keys. That is to say, Command plus Shift plus the number 4. In this way. Command plus Shift plus the number 4 instead of the number 3. In this way, common shift 4, you can see that the cursor is changed, but the screenshot has not been taken yet. At this point, I just have to select with the cursor the area that I'm interested in, release the mouse button, and here I have my screenshot, like this. If I open the file, I 
as you can see the screenshot has been taken only in the portion of the screen I selected with my cursor. If then what interests me is the image of a particular windows of the desktop, I can either select it with the method just described, that is to say command plus shift plus four, or I can select it automatically with the keys command plus shift plus four plus space, this way. Let's say I want a screenshot of this particular windows. Uh, Instead of selecting it manually with the cursor, I could use the combination command plus shift plus four plus spacebar in this way. Using these buttons, you see that the cursor becomes a small camera and as soon as I go on a certain window, it is automatically selected. If I click with the mouse button, I will have a screenshot of this window and just of this window, as you can see. To recap, we have Common plus Shift plus 3 to take a screenshot of the entire screen of your Mac. Command plus shift plus four to take a screenshot of a particular and selected area of the screen and command plus shift plus four plus spacebar to take a screenshot of a particular windows. The last command that I wanted to show you was this one command plus A Common plus A. This is a very particular interesting common because with this combination of keys you can select all the elements of a certain Windows at once. If you don't want to select all the files uh, within a Windows one by one, maybe because you have hundreds of them, you can simply use the combination common plus A and all the files will be selected at once very easily. For example, If I go on my for example if I want to select all these files and I don't want to select them one by one in this way I should have to press command plus A and all of them has been selected at once it's very easy and very useful, especially if you have hundreds of files to select. That's all for this tutorial. There are many, many other keyboard shortcuts, of course. Every day you discover something new, but in this tutorial I just wanted to show you the ones most commonly used by Macintosh users, the ones that you can find almost everywhere on the internet. Thanks for watching it and see you next time.